Hey YouTube, a little quick ammo update, a little funny story. Uh, first of all, congratulations to the Cats and the Badgers for one hell of a ball game. Uh, finally, UK gets a little break. Didn't look good there for a couple of seconds, but hey, let's dance now. UConn, here we come. Let's hang number nine. Anyway, little ammo score. <laughs> Not much, but a little bit. Did those reviews on the Winchester XRs. They shot so good. I found some three and a half inch at Walmart today. I want to back it up and just see what these things will do. See how long my shoulder can take them. That gun's off a lot to be shooting these things. I'm asking for trouble. I'll probably jar some of my feelings out of my teeth, but uh, we'll try it. But anyhow, my big ammo score. 22 long rifle. These are the Federal Premium Ultra Match. I gotta say, this is what I don't like, but that wrong box. It is what it is. Well, where'd it go? Tag must have fell off. Anyhow, these things. $22 per 50 but I buy some match grade ammo just to take out with the CZ and uh, see how big of a dime hole I can blow out with five shots see how many holes I can cut see how many suckers I can nail off, knock off the stick anyway it's getting warm here so I'm gonna do some videos on this pretty soon $22 per 50. There's some expensive 22 long for you. And uh, a little response to HNRE 452, or 50, 42, 52, sorry about that. Those Winchester slugs that uh, you were pointing out for the Walmart in your video, it's good ammo for your 20. I've got a uh, 20 gauge youth model that I take to Ohio when I am uh, where we, we do drive deer drives and if I'm driving that's what I've got on my shoulder because usually we don't get a shot at them but if we do it's gonna be a quick running shot and man some of the hills over there are about like over here you you don't need to be lugging around a big 12 gauge weighs friggin eight nine ten pounds you want a light gun so I've used those Winchester before Seems to me that 20 gauge is not as finicky as the 12 gauge when you get into slugs, uh, especially on the Mossberg. It'll shoot about anything. I don't know what gun you got, but you know how it goes. Shoot this, shoot that, until you find out what your gun really likes. But those Winchesters are really good rounds, so, you know, it, it's not a bad buy if you find them, and that's what you want. Just, uh, you know, you ain't going to be drilling holes with them but you're not going to be drilling holes with hardly any slug gun so anyhow it, it it's a good round to have but uh uh had a little funny story today buddy called me he was out the gun range and there were some guys out there shooting beside him and uh they were plinking 45s and nine millimeters and uh guy wanted to you know, do a little competition shoot. So he called me up and he said, man, come on out here. I was headed out there anyway, but I wasn't ready yet. So I threw everything in the truck and off I went. And I got out there and yeah, we run and them guys were pretty good shots and they were running a couple of Springfields, pretty nice guns. And, uh, you know, the Rock Island done what it done. We shot right with them, which was no big deal. But then the guy got cocky. We was talking about, you know, just uh, emptying mags, period. How fast we could empty a mag and slap another one in and blah, blah, blah. So I told the guy, I said, okay. I said, uh, you know, whatever you want to do. I said, I bet I can shoot 20 rounds faster than you can shoot 20 rounds. And I just let the attack. A couple minutes later, he come over and he was like, are you serious about that? And I said, yeah. He said, uh, what do you want to put on it? I said, buddy, 
I said, I ain't going to bet you on it. I said, I'm just telling you, you know, I'll shoot 20 rounds before you can shoot your 20. I'll just leave it at that. I said, I don't want to take your money. And he got all pissed off, blah, blah, blah. He said, okay. He said, let's put your money where your mouth is. And I said, all right. Well, his buddy went over there and he stood up, run 10 rounds off pretty quick, dropped a clip, slapped it in there, run him another 10. He turned around and smiled at me. I said, well, that's fine. Good shooting, man. So I got up. <laughs> I grabbed the PMR 30. I'd already loaded it with the gold dots, so I knew it was going to run. Stuck 20 in there, got up, and I ran them off. He looked at me, and he was like, oh, no, no, man, no, you're supposed to do it with a 45. I said, no. I said, I just said that I could shoot 20 rounds faster than you could. That's all I said. He was like, oh, man, this is bullshit, bullshit. I said, look, it's lucky we didn't bet. I said, could you been paying me some money right now? But anyway, they got all pissed off, throw their shit in their car, and they left. But uh, just rule of thumb. You know, it's about the details, especially when it comes to that stuff. I just thought it was funny, the reaction on their face. Uh, it's one of those had-to-be-there things, because I tell you what, that buddy of mine was rolling laughing. And his buddy was kind of like, eh, dude, you did say that now. You know, you took him up on that. So anyhow, just be careful when you're all making bets. Y'all shoot straight. Hope you all finding the ammo you need. Take care.